You know, I love pretty much anything buffalo chicken flavored. So these crunchy buffalo chicken cups are a great appetizer for any game day get together. So, grating some cheddar cheese, let me just finish this up here. I'm gonna start with some corn chips. These are these addictive little snack treats. I'm gonna process them. Okay, perfect. So, I had six ounces of cheese here. I need about two thirds of this, or one cup, and I'm just gonna put this into the manual food processor. Now notice I put my finger on the blade post like that because I don't wanna get any cheese in it. Little trick of the trade. Now, I'm gonna process the cheese in here. Now what I'm gonna do is put this into the wells of the deluxe mini muffin pan. I'm gonna take the mini tart shaper and press these down a little bit. You don't wanna to press too hard, just get them a little bit packed. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna put these in a 375 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes till they get nice and warm and bubbly. Now we're gonna make the topping. I'm just gonna put the rest of our cheese here into the batter bowl. Now I'm gonna need about a cup of finely diced cooked chicken. So, how do you finely dice chicken? Real easy. Cut it in half, and then stand it up, cut it in half again. Now I'm going to thinly slice some green onions and get about a tablespoon of the tops and set them aside. Okay, I like to leave the ends on there to kind of hold on to them so I can cut all the way down. Okay. Now, we're gonna really get some flavor going on here. So, what we're gonna do is add two tablespoons of sour cream and two tablespoons of hot cayenne pepper sauce. So this is what you would typically use to make buffalo chicken wings. So generally on these bottles, if you see instructions for making buffalo chicken wings, it's a good sign that you've got the right sauce. It's not buffalo chicken without some blue cheese. And give this a nice stir. Oh, that smells good. Now, I'm gonna heat this in the microwave for like 30 or 60 seconds because I like the cheese to get a little melted. It makes it easier to put on top of the cups. Okay. I think that looks good. Cups are done, let's check them out. Okay. It's very important to let these rest for three to four minutes because everything gets cool. It makes those cups much easier to get out of the pan. See, look at that. Barely have to do anything to them. See how they're just popping right out there? Now that they've released, what I like to do is just kind of turn the pan a little to assemble these on the stackable cooling rack. So I'll just take them out. Oh, these are so crunchy. Here's our chicken filling. We're just gonna take about a tablespoon and help it right on top. Let's just kinda Take these over. Beautiful, okay. Now, what could possibly make these any better? Why more hot sauce, of course. Little extra kick, awesome. Now our green onions from before, right on top. Okay, perfect. Crunchy buffalo chicken cups, perfect appetizer for your next game day get together.